Hey guys, welcome back to Artifacts Tutorial Tuesday. Last week I showed you how I construct the breakdown section of a track and today I'm going to do the second build up. For now I'll play the track first so you can hear how it sounds so far. Hey! 
Okay, so one of the key elements that raised the tension level in the first build-up is the rising snare roll. So let's copy that same snare pattern over to the second build-up section of the track. I can do this by selecting the area I want to copy, then control click and dragging it to the desired location. Okay, so I have noticed that I have no vocals in the first build-up. I don't know why, but they've got lost, somehow. But I do want the vocals in the first build-up, so I copy over the vocal clip I've made earlier. Right, that's a lot better. I'm going to take off the last part of the vocal clip. I do this to introduce a little silence before the drop. This really helps giving your drops more impact. Now I can also turn the original vocal back on, which fills up this silence a bit and leads you into the next section of the drop. Okay, so for the second build-up, I take the percussion that was introduced in the breakdown and copy it over to the second build-up section. This way you can make sure that each part sounds like a continuation on the previous part instead of just two separate parts. Okay, time to create the riser for the second drop. For this I'm going to use the main chords used in the drop section of the track, so let me find those. Right, I copy over the MIDI clip to the second builder and then I open it up. Now I can safely delete all the chords except the first one. Then I stretch out the first chord until the end of the clip. Now I can duplicate the MIDI clip, select both copies and press Ctrl plus J on my keyboard to consolidate them in one new MIDI clip. Now I go into this clip and make sure there is only one chord in the clip. Now it's time to add the rising effect. First I check in silent 1 if the pitch bend amount is set correctly. Mine is already set at 12 semitones so that is perfect. Then I open up the new MIDI clip and click on the little envelope button on the bottom left. 
then I click the pitch bend button which brings up the pitch bend automation lane. Now I simply create the rising automation to create the desired build up effect. Now I'm going to add a auto filter to the end of the chain since I think the new build up is a little too busy at the moment. Now I duplicate the current track so I can have both elements on a separate track. Now I can control the low pass filter on the build up separate from the one on the chords. I also add a little volume automation on the rising chord. I let the volume drop towards the end of the buildup to make room for the other rising elements like, for instance, the snare roll. Ok, so now I need to strip away all the elements in the last bar before the second drop to create the silence we need to give the drop some more impact. I take away the kick drum and percussion parts as well as the vocal chops. Now we have a full bar of silence. I'm going to fill this up with the other vocal, just like I've done with the first build-up. Okay, so now I'm going to create a kick drum build-up, where the kick drum speeds up to build even more tension. First I consolidate the part where I want the kick drum build up to happen. Then I open the new MIDI clip and select all the notes. Now I make the notes half their current size. Then I copy the notes over to create 1 8 notes, which is twice the speed of the previous kick drum part. Now I consolidate the last two beats of that same clip and make these notes again half of their current size. Now we have 1 16 notes. Then, finally for the last beat of this buildup, I'm going to make these notes even faster. Namely, 1 32nd notes.
Now our kick drum buildup is finished and should sound something like this. Okay, so that didn't work too well with the snare roll, because the snare roll is made in triplet notes. So let's adjust the snare roll notes so that they are not 112 triplet notes, but actually 116 notes. Okay, so now I need to redo the automation on this snare roll. First I select the current automation, then right click and choose cut envelope. Now I can insert the new automation. Hmm, something is not right here. Ah right, I forgot to do the same automation for the low pass filter. So again, select the automation, right click and choose cut envelope. And then afterwards redo the automation. Now it should sound a lot better. And it does. Okay, so on to the last part of the build-up. I want the snare roll to speed up as well. So I'm going to do the same thing with the snare drum. I zoom in and select the part I want to loop. Then I press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the audio clip over until the end of the snare roll. Be sure to adjust the automation again since it also copies the automation information. Whoa, that sounded really weird. Automation information. <laughs> So, now I can safely delete the snare roll from the first buildup and replace it with the new snare roll. You want to keep these the same, switching too much between normal and triplet notes will sound a little bit weird. Okay, so now you might want to adjust the volume on the snare rolls because they are a little bit too loud. But there's no simple way because you've automated the volume on that track and it would be a pain in the ass to adjust all the automations. You can also insert the utility device to control the volume. Put it at the end of the chain and just use it as a simple volume knob for the track. Just a small tip. So that was it for this week's tutorial. 
I want to thank everybody for watching my videos during the past months, subscribing to my channel, registering at my forum and joining the discussions, and of course, for buying my music. Next week we dive into the second drop, and then we're slowly reaching the end of the first season of tutorials. See you next week.